I don't know why we can't leave all the all this stuff in the family room until after Christmas. They don't really fit in with with the other Christmas decorations. Oh really? I thought these would make great Christmas decorations. The wise man would have been thrilled to have this with them. <laughs> What will the wise man do at a frisbee? The wise man can bring Jesus gifts of gold, frankincense, myrrh, and a frisbee. The wise man, Jesus would, I'm sure Jesus would love to have a frisbee as one of his toys. Nice try, but mom will never go for it. We promised, we better get going. We promised that mom that we would, we will be right back so we can help set up the traditional Christmas decorations. What about this? I think it belongs in the box with the other stuff. Come on, let's, come on, come on, let's go. The Gospel according to Luke. In those days, Caesar Augustus declared that everyone throughout the empire should be enrolled in the tax lists. The first enrollment occurred when Quirinius governed Syria. Everyone went to their own cities to be enrolled. Since Joseph belonged to David's house and family line, he went up from the city of Nazareth in Galilee to David's city called Bethlehem in Judea. He went to be enrolled together with Mary, who was promised to him in marriage, and who was pregnant. All right, baby, I found an epistle. That's great. You need to write both of our names on the resignation form you get, we were given when we arrived in Bethlehem. I could find a e for I could find a e little chasing for the baby boo. See here. Here it is, Joseph. Thanks, baby. If you haven't noticed, I've been kind of nervous lately about our trip to Bethlehem. I'm nervous about getting our names and uh, chasing our tags. I've been nervous about finding a place for us today. I've been nervous about having a baby. Baby, <laughs> I know, baby. I know, but this baby isn't just any baby. It's the savior of the world. You need, you need to, rem you need to remember that God has everything under control, Joseph. This isn't about us. This is about God's gift of a savior to the world. We. 
What a refit. Thanks for the reminder. While they were there, the time came for Mary to have her baby. She gave birth to her firstborn child, a son, wrapped him snugly, and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the guest room. So, on a quiet night, the baby Jesus was born in a barn in the little town of Bethlehem. This little baby was the fulfillment of God's promise to the world. God had promised to come and live among us as our Savior. Who would have ever imagined that God's promised Savior would spend that first night sleeping in a barn on a bed of hay? This quiet night was about to change. There were some angels who were getting ready to celebrate the birth of the Savior, and God told them that they would be announcing the good news of the Savior's birth to some shepherds in a field outside of Bethlehem. Silent night, holy night, shepherds quake at the sight, glory streams from heaven afar, heavenly hosts sing Hallelujah! Christ the Savior is born. Christ the Savior is
Nearby, shepherds were living in the fields, guarding their sheep at night. The shepherd had put in a full day taking care of her sheep. Now the only thing she had left to do before dark was to round up all of her sheep. <laughs> The sheep always looked forward to their bedtime snack at the end of the day. But before they could have their bedtime snack, they had to do all of their sheep tricks for the shepherd. The shepherd knew the sheep, excuse me, knew how to lie down. The sheep knew how to sit up and the sheep knew how to speak <laughs> after the sheep tricks were done one of the shepherds was in charge of making sure everyone got a bedtime snack that same shepherd also had a napkin available so that the sheep could clean up after they ate. Then the shepherds gave the sheep their pillows. <laughs> the sheep did know how to speak, right? <laughs> Thanks, Lindsay. And finally, the shepherds hummed a lullaby that helped the sheep to fall asleep. That's enough. Every, otherwise, everybody will fall asleep. <laughs> the Lord's angels stood before them, and the Lord's glory shone round about them, and they were terrified. The angels said, Don't be afraid. Look, I bring good news to you. Wonderful, joyous news for all people. Your Savior is born today in David's city. He is Christ the Lord. This is a sign for you. You will find a newborn baby wrapped snugly and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great assembly of the heavenly forces was with the angel praising God. They said, Glory to God in heaven and on earth, peace among those whom he favors. When the angels returned to heaven, the shepherds said to each other, Let's go right now to Bethlehem and see what's happened. Let's confirm what the Lord has revealed to us. They went quickly and found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in the manger. When they saw this, they reported what they had been told about the child. Everyone who heard it was amazed at what the shepherds told them. Mary committed these things to memory and considered them carefully. The shepherd returned home, glorifying and praising God for all she had heard and seen. Everything happened just as she had been told.
Go tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born. Jesus Christ is born. The Gospel according to Matthew. After Jesus was born in Bethlehem, in the territory of Judea, during the rule of King Herod, Magi came from the east to Jerusalem. They asked, Where is the newborn king of the Jews? We've seen his star in the east, and we've come to honor him. The wise men had been traveling for days, because they wanted to worship the Savior. God sent them. Come on. <laughs> A star to lead them and show them which direction to go. Whenever the star stopped moving, the wise men got a chance to stop and relax. One of the things they loved to do when they were relaxing was to play a round of camel basketball with their basketballs. <laughs> she shoots. They even carried a basketball hoop them with them while they traveled. And the first player to spell camel got to choose which wise men would ride the camel for the next part of the trip, while the other two wise men had to walk. The star was moving. The star was moving. So it was time to get going. When they heard the king, they went, and look, the star they had seen in the east went ahead of them until it stood over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they were filled with joy. They entered the house and saw the child with Mary, his mother. Falling to their knees, they honored him. They, then they opened their treasure chest and presented him with gifts of gold, frankincense and myrrh because they were warned in a dream not to return to Herod they went back to their own country by another route To the world the Lord is come, let earth receive her King. Let every heart prepare Him room, and heaven and nature sing, and heaven and nature sing, and heaven and heaven and nature sing. So much has happened since we came here. 
First baby Jesus was born. Did, did the shepherd came to see Jesus? After that, the wise men came to worship Jesus. And then after that, the shepherds and the wise men told everyone about the birth of the Savior. Emmanuel, God is with us. Isn't that, um, isn't that exciting? I have a feeling we're going to have a lot of people stopping by our house to see Jesus. <laughs> Uh-oh, I started to feel nervous again. Don't worry, Joseph. Don't worry, Joseph. God has everything under control, remember? I say... God has given us a savior. All will be well. Just hold the mic. Just hold the mic. Joy to the world. The Lord is come. Let earth receive her King. Let every heart prepare him room. And heaven and nature sing. And heaven and nature sing, and heaven and heaven and nature sing. Woo! All right, take a bow, everybody. <laughs>